of Francis Pettinelli for his contact and good information. Today, atomic clocks are widely dispersed in many countries, and it's essential to verify that they're running in synchronism. By that we mean that they're keeping the same time. In the past, this was done by the use of radio time signals. These are still used in some areas, but the accuracy of present-day clocks is such that we have to use other methods of checking their timekeeping. One of the most effective is to transfer time physically, making use of a portable cesium clock and flying it between one country and another. The Pan American jumbo jet Clipper Storm King is bringing a clock from the United States Naval Observatory for comparison with the NPL clock and later with the cesium clocks in other countries. Mr. P. Clock P for portable, as it appears in the passenger list, travels in a normal tourist class seat in company with two stalwart members of the observatory. For these long journeys, the clock is connected to the aircraft power supplies to conserve its own batteries. When the plane has landed, the clock is lifted out of the seat and is now operated on its internal batteries. It's transferred to a special trolley, designed to negotiate the aircraft passageways. NPL is fortunate in being only a 20-minute drive from Heathrow, and we can take part in the majority of time transfers between the United States and Western Europe. In this case, welcome to Britain is more than symbolic, since these portable clock trips play a vital role in relating time in the UK to that in other countries. Once inside the Time Standards Laboratory, power is connected to recharge the batteries. A lead carrying the once per second signal is plugged into the counter. The counter indicates the precise time difference between the portable clock and the NPL master clock. Right, what have we got? Portable clock minus NPL is 8.521 microseconds. How does that sound, Andy? Well, that sounds fine with me, Dennis. Uh, good. It, it looks good to us, too. The technique of using portable clocks is now well established, and provided you're within reach of transport, air, sea or road, then it's possible to transfer a time calibration to very much better than one millionth of a second anywhere in the world. <laughs> 